don't be afraid to let us know that we're full of shit in the comments and just, uh, you know, say, full of shit, shit alarm, or whatever you want to say. Um, but we're going to go listen to the last tune of the night, Demille. Demille? Demille? How do you say that, Dave? Demille. Demille? Yeah. Demille. 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 No, Demille with the song Oblivion on Indie Music Live. We'll be right back. Can you go online and get great music, great conversation, and just me? I mean, right here, Facebook Live, YouTube Live. We got David Pinchelove Warby. Oh yeah, change your name back to the original because you you had to go to the bathroom or something during the show. Where were you anyway? I was pinching a loaf, just like you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sitting here with Chris Swan. That was Demil with Oblivion. I'm not sure where this guy's from. Uh, but I, I like his music. I like the feel of this song. Um, what do you think, Chris? Yeah, man, solid song. You know, it's not it's not the kind of song that gets me super excited one way or the other, you know, but it's solid. The production's good. Um, solid. Mighty like Mighty Boss played. Tones. I said it first. <laughs> Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Uh, let's bring it back. No, but I uh, uh, his picture – total Bieber man like whether his music is really going there or not I seriously thought it was a picture of Justin Bieber and I oh, her. an old one though like you really uh, Bieber though right now so yeah like you, the you, second one you I realize he's like he's just like seething and scathing oh, I know I'm not saying his music sounds anything like that I'm just making a comment on his picture right. but no I like it dude it's it's solid you know it's a good <laughs> Pop song. Can I say solid again? Is that the word this time? Dude, uh, all right. Cut but, the humor on this. This was good shit, man. Seriously. Yeah, it it's like it this this was reminiscent. There there's a little like uh Pink Floyd roots in this. Maybe a little Duran Duran. I mean, there was like some uh seventies, eighties like Duran Duran. rock influence going on here. Uh really unique voice. I, I really dug his voice. I think his the vocals were to me too quiet in the mix. I mean, there were like a really unique voice like that. I, I think should be like uh, up front a little more. Um, but the style, man, the dude, I was really digging this, dude. I, I, I was really kind of enthralled uh, with the production on this one, man. And good stuff, man. <laughs> 